Hi, I'm Adelise here with the weekly update, and today I have special guest Jesse Plazo here with us from Topper Radio. So, Jesse, tell us who you are and what you do exactly. Well, uh, my name is Jesse Plaza. I'm a junior student of communication here at St. Ed's. Um, I'm currently the assistant executive producer for Topper Radio, and uh, as of next semester, I will be leading the station as the new executive director. And um, I donate blood. I like I to take donor. selfies. Yeah. And I have a weekly show called The Weekly Dub, which airs Saturdays at midnight. And uh, basically, besides that, I'm not interesting. Oh, don't forget your plethora of coats. I like coats and dressing nicely. Yeah, fashion's a thing. <laughs> Tell us about your radio show, though. OK, so The Weekly Dub is um, an electronic music and discovery show. It's kind of half talk, half uh, music. And what I do is I take a student guest, I'm actually filming, I'm recording later. Um, today, I take a student guest and we talk about things, generally nothing in particular of importance because, you know, why should I ever have any meaningful good content? But right, right, right. no, um, I, I, I tend to split it up between talk and music, talk and music, but we try to explore the bits of electronic music and culture like um, this ridiculous, uh, speaking of the word selfie, there's this song mm -hmm. called Hashtag Selfie. Yes, I have heard that. By the Chainsmokers oh, right, that is right. taking the airwaves by, by four, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's terrible, it's awful, and I, I'm the kind of guy that says, hey, this is what's wrong with this culture and this subculture, and I hate, all, I hate everything. I basically complain for an hour. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I have no Yeah, listeners. I've heard it. He complains for mm -hmm. a good amount of time. But um, let's talk about you, your social media, and how popular or really not popular you are on there. That's a funny one. Uh, so Tell us your story, please. We're all very interested in knowing. All right. So I, my regular personal Twitter was decently popular. A couple of hundred followers. That's, you know, a look okay. at me, right? Um, but last Christmas around, uh, my radio show was actually mentioned on Sirius XM BPM their electronic music station. Mm -hmm. And one of the DJs was like, hey, this college radio guy is doing stuff. And I'm like, cool, yay. So I noticed I gained about 800 followers on mm -hmm. my personal account and on my radio account. I remember you texted me that evening. Yeah. You gained I, I, 1,500 followers. I freaked out, had no idea what right. was going on. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess, so for months, I just thought that I was enjoying a nice little surge of internet fame right. for doing a thing that I liked. But... After realizing that I was starting to drop followers every day, like ah, yes. more th I was dropping more followers than you have. This is very true. I'm not um, even going to sugarcoat that one. I looked, and I found, oh my god, most of these accounts are bots. And, and what's your theory on the bots? My hypothesis mm -hmm. on the bots is that uh, the XM kind of street team type people, the promotions people, they kind of artificially inflate mentioned accounts like they sent they they have all these people build up these followers so they appear popular they appear as um relevant content creators when right. they're actually not right like, like me. you yeah, yeah so that's kind of uh terrifying but <laughs> that's something i was actually going to talk about on the show later today mm -hmm. but uh basically i'm not popular right and uh we're getting there mm -hmm. yeah we're getting, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> but how did you acquire your position as, what are you now, executive director? Yeah. You are leading Topper Radio, Jesse. Wow. Oh, God. You haven't, this is your first year at St. Edwards. Yes. You are a transfer student. Right, like I said, I transferred in from ACC where I spent two years in academic purgatory. So glad to be gone. St. Edwards is the best place ever. Um, I saw the involvement fair coming up and I'm like, oh, I could join some clubs. I could get a life. I right, could right, stop right. being a boring 20-year-old who does nothing with his life. Mm -hmm. And I saw Topper Radio was recruiting to launch in the fall, mm -hmm. which we did last September. Yes, Go us. And um, I actually ended up having a class with Austin Marshall, co-founder and current executive director. And I got involved, did the show, met you, met a bunch of other people. That's true. Um, and one thing led to another, and I ended up getting promoted to assistant executive producer, where I am now, mm -hmm. just due to my involvement and the fact that I like the radio station. Yeah. I, I enjoy what I do, and I guess people enjoy the work that I do. I, I, no, I don't know. Probably. It's it's like it's like almost. You have a decent voice. It's almost for, I mean, it's almost worthwhile, right? Yeah. Um, but then Austin and Natalie, our Dear leaders decided uh, that due to the stress of life and their schedules, they were going to be stepping down as of next semester. Right. 
So they needed to appoint new leaders of the station. And you know what? They make great decisions, so I'm just going to assume this is one of them. But for some reason, they picked me. And mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're decently reliable. I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. Terrified. Okay, Jesse. So I know that you're decent at social media, and for some reason, you just really love your face. I mean, it's a it's, solid seven out of ten. It's pretty. It's just everywhere, right? Because I I happen to follow Jesse on social media, and so do what like three thousand other. Well, not they're not all people. Let's assume that half of them are. People. Okay, How let's let's assume a thousand. Thousand people? Thousand Is that people. good? Thousand okay. People. So all of these people see your face, and I think we should play a selfie game. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so let's see who takes the best selfie, and then it will go on the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the Twitters. Okay. And, okay. and then people can decide which one uh, is better. Well, I mean, I don't Ready? want to say go. go for failure. No, do it now. Okay. Go. Okay, we're saving this. Okay. Okay. Just make a face. Don't, don't make the face that you always make. Just... Can we show this to the camera? Can we just get like a, like a close-up on my face? Close-up yeah, of the this... close-up? What if I just kind of do this thing? And I think we should play, I don't know, let's just keep this, this game thing going. Okay. You have a decent radio voice, so I think you should say, say words like the, what do we do, like an improv, bedtime story kind of thing, okay. you know? So you start and then I go and then we just kind of like keep it going. All right, uh, follow my lead? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a little... Lamb, who jumped in the forest and ran to... The fiery pits of hell. Along this journey, the lamb encountered a 30 foot ball python. The python then hugged the lamb and told it that it was all going to be okay because. The ball python was a pathological liar and it was actually strangling the lamb for its dinner. Naturally, because the python is in hell and the lamb is in the fiery pits of hell. But then the lamb reacted. And it screamed, moral of the story, kids, don't be a lamb in hell. The end. Great. That, great. that, was, that was pretty, sol pretty, yeah. pretty solid. 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 Yeah. Awesome. This is the kind of bedtime story you tell kids, like, right after you beat them with a switch. <laughs> you know, speaking of, speaking of fiery pits of hell, uh -huh. this looks like a dungeon. Oh, yes. This is the Whisper Room, in case you do not know what this, it says Whisper Room right here. I don't know if you can see it, but... This is where Jesse does his the thing with the words, and as do I, because I'm in top of radio as well. So uh, it looks like a massive, like, I don't know if you've seen Sweeney Todd. The room with the meat pies. The, yes, exactly. And it's, it just looks like you're going to look in there, and it's going to be like fire. and. But it's actually a very, very friendly room. It's actually not that friendly. It's really, really hot. It's dark. It's sweaty. All the sound absorbs into the walls. Yes. The Whisper Room is a wonderful little bit of technology that we have here in the Monday Library. It should be bigger. But recording in it is akin to sitting in a sauna with all of your clothes on, except you're with someone else who's like Sometimes. dangerously close to being uncomfortable with how close they are to you. And you have this microphone just like almost stabbing you in the face. Yep. and. That's pretty accurate. accurate. These are the resources we have. Topper Radio, as you know, does not have a studio not yet. Not yet. Working on that. Definitely. But, yeah, this is what we have to live with. However, you should listen uh, to Jesse's show. What's your show called? It's called The Weekly Dub, which is funny because this is weekly updates. Ha. Ah. The Words. Weekly Dub, where, where can you listen to the show? TopperRadio.com or our Mixcloud at Mixcloud.com slash The Weekly Dub. Uh, we put out new episodes every Saturday at midnight, and I think they're okay. Right. They're not that great. But yes, this has been uh, Jesse and Adelise with weekly updates. You're watching Topper TV.